So you stumbled upon Swee, but you're not sure where to start. Don't worry, because I have your back, so let's get straight into the video. So I am updating this video because Sui has been shipping so fast, I just cannot keep up. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Trevin, or Trevin vs NFT, and I love Sui. Yes, we'll be going over everything you need to know on how to get started on Sui Network, so let's dive straight in. So. I will be going over which mobile wallets and wallets in general I suggest as I've been on the network for basically over a year. So the first one I highly suggest is Sui Wallet, and this is actually done by Mistin Labs. And if you're not familiar with Mistin Labs, they are also the co-founders of Sui. So they made the app which you can use on desktop as a Chrome extension and also on mobile on your phone. So you have best of both worlds. And the app is super easy to use. I actually did a full on guide. If you wanna watch right here, it is a little bit lengthy, but it goes over the full mobile app and it is technically the same for desktop. And this is a speed run, so I'm trying to go as fast, but also give you all the information that you need to get started and feel welcome to Sui. So the next one I wanna talk about is Nightly. Nightly is a multi-chain app, and this also can be used on your desktop as a Chrome extension or whatever browser you choose, and also on your phone. I personally always like having two different apps with two different wall addresses on it. Just in case, I'm always paranoid like that. I feel like it's never bad to have two to three wall addresses and it's super easy to make, have your seed phrase and make it secure because your crypto, your keys. Or is it your keys, your crypto? I don't know what it is, but that's the benefit of the blockchain. It's your wallet. So keep it secure. Moving on to the Explorer side, I feel like this is actually not talked about as much. So we'll be going over Sui Vision very simply. So the first thing you wanna look is you can see everything on the homepage. So you can see how many active wallets, which D apps are getting the most attention that's actually on the Sui network that you might not even know. So if we look right here, um, Wave Wallet has 270,000 SWE addresses. That is honestly super cool. And then right below is actually a fan TV, a social app that's trying to bring monetization to the user. Uh, later on, I will be doing a full video about fan TV because I think it's a fantastic app that will blow up on SWE. So moving on, we can see how many transactions what the total supply of SWE is, how much is actually staked on the chain itself. And then you can also see daily transactions. So if you look right here, uh, we're at 3.6 mil. That is kind of impressive. Uh, SWE is actually getting a lot more notice from everyone else in the ecosystem. Plus it is developed on move, which is completely different from other chains. And the cool thing is you're now actually able to search Sui names or basically your name. So for example, Trevin versus NFT dot Sui, you're actually able to search that now with just an at. So I can do at Trevin versus NFT and boom, it will find my account and you get to see everything on that account that I have. So let's just search my account really quick and I'll show you some more. So when you jump into the account, this is what it will look like at the very top hand side. I'll say, this is Trev Trevin's buying wallet. This is basically my wallet that I just use to support the community and kind of have fun with it. So obviously you see some fun coins, you see sweet, you see liquor, FUD, uh, Generis, Kodo, Buck. And the cool thing is, which I like at the very bottom, it'll actually show you where you're staking your SWE. So if you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know where my SWE's at, and you look up your account, you're like, okay, I'm fine. It's being staked on Navi Protocol. Later in the video, I'll be going over the best DeFi apps to use and how simple they are to get started. So this is a lot of amazing stuff. You can also look at assets and this will bring up everything that is in the wallet. For the most part, they're gonna be NFTs and then they also do have tokens. So if you just scroll down, obviously I have a lot of NFTs. I also run my own NFT project called Unchained. Uh, we are a sheriff NFT collection. We also do have an esports brand too called Unchained Esports. So if you're looking to join the NFT collection, we welcome you with open arms. 
Uh, we're trying to get more into gaming and we have a lot of fun stuff cooking. So uh, definitely keep an eye out for us. And then you're also able to go to activity. So you're basically able to see like what is happening. So I get dropped a lot of stuff on this wallet because it is my public wallet in a way. So as you can see, there's been a lot of meme coins that are being dropped. Uh, FUD uh, is a big one that is probably the biggest meme coin on SWE. Uh, but yes, we'll go into the next tab of how to claim your own SWE name and how easy it is. So this is SWE name service, basically own your identity. And this is where you're able to capture that name that you go by and you want to have. So people can send you assets, NFTs, coins whatever you want on the blockchain so it's really as easy as just putting in the name and all you gotta do is hit search so if i look for certain names let's say that i'm looking for airdrop all i have to do is hit search and i'll say hey that name is actually taken well let's try something else 325 okay so 325 is available they are more expensive for a three letter name but if we add a couple more numbers onto it the price actually goes down to 20 SWE. And how it works is when you buy the domain, it'll actually show up in your wallet as an NFT and it'll tell you actually when it expires. Before it expires, I believe a month before, you're actually able to renew it, I think up to five to eight years. Um, so it's really easy, it's super simple. And then I believe after you renew it, it's very affordable. So you can have that name forever. So I obviously hold Trevin versus NFT and I'll have that in my SWE wallet forever and ever. And all you have to do is honestly click right here and hit register name. And it'll say right here when it expires. So next year for one year from when you purchase it in 2025, and then you just hit register and boom, you have your name. I'll be doing a full on guide on SWE NS since they did change some stuff and SWE is always moving. Okay, moving on. So this is something that is actually new and I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, stashed or get stashed and you go to getstashed.com and this is what it comes up as. You're actually able to kind of have a wallet, but you're also able to send assets. So this is what it looks like when you first open the app. You'll be able to sign in with your Gmail account, your Twitch account, or if you already have a SWE wallet account, you're able to log in with that. I'll be logging in with that for now, just to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so then when you open this, it'll basically show you all the coins you have and all the NFTs that you own. So if I want to, I can actually send NFTs, I can send SWE, I can send meme coins, I can kind of send whatever assets I have in the wallet itself. And this is where it gets super fun and exciting. So if I want to hit send assets, I'll say, hey, do you want to choose a coin in your account? or do you want to choose an NFT in your account? So if you want to onboard your friends to SWE and they don't have a account or wallet already, well, you're in luck because you're actually able to send them a link. And once they open the link, they'll sign in with their Gmail or Twitch and boom, without them even knowing, you have a SWE wallet in your account just like that. And you can also send it directly. So if you don't want to create a link, you can actually hit send directly. And this is actually where you put in their wallet address. But I feel like links are just so much easier and it's the same cost no matter what. So if I wanted to send 10 SWE to somebody, I would just go up here. Let's just say one SWE for now, and then we'll hit done. But it will also show you unrecognized tokens. So right here, these are mainly <laughs> um, all airdrop for the most part. So it has the recognize that are recognized on. If not, it'll bring them down here. So um, huge thing to have. So we'll just hit one, we'll hit done, and then we'll hit create link and it'll pop in the right hand side. Um, and then you just hit approve and it'll generate the link just like this. And boom, this is what the link looks like. So you're able to scan the QR code or send them the link directly. And that's how you get assets on SWE with a super simple link. And I'm super happy to have get stashed.
Okay, so moving on to probably the next big one is actually the NFT side. So we mainly use a platform called Tradeport. They are also multi-chain. So you're basically able to find all the fun projects on here. So let's just, you know, do a little shield on myself. Uh, so we have Unchained, so you're able to obviously buy. And then on the right hand side, uh, you're able to log in. So you have the options, you will be hitting Sweet Wallet. And then these are obviously all of the wallets. And you thought you were like, oh, well, I just created a stash account. Can I use this for other D apps on Sui? Well, you actually can. So if you actually see right there, stash is an option for you to use for trade port in other D apps. Cause technically it acts as a wallet and all you need is a Gmail or a Twitch. And I think everything else is pretty explanatory. So you're able to buy NFTs and you're also able to sell NFTs. You're able to go to your items. So let's say I want to transfer this NFT to an address. All I have to do is hit transfer and boom, I just put in the SWE address that's connected to that account. I hit confirm and that transfer will go through Tradeport and they're actually able to claim it. And that's just a very quick walkthrough of Tradeport. I'll probably do a in-depth tutorial again because Tradeport is always evolving too and making better features for everyone to use. Just like I said, speed red time, we're trying to go through everything as quickly as possible. So my next big feature is basically called Sui Coins. You're actually able to incinerate those nasty, nasty meme coins or NFTs on the site. So if you go to SuiCoins.com and you go basically kind of down to like the bottom left hand corner where like this little fire emoji is right here, you're able to see what you want to burn. So right now it already recognizes I have burn scam NFTs. So it recognized these all as scam. So I can hit continue and it found those and it recognized their scam. So it will already start to burn them. Then you just hit approve. And in seconds, those scam NFTs are gone from your wallet. You're also able to fully get rid of um, coins or NFTs manually. So you, so you basically just go down the row and a nice feature that they added is basically like a skull emoji with on fire to show you this is probably a scam. So you would just click on this right here and then you submit all the ones that you have. So there's quite a bit actually. And then you just hit burn one asset or burn assets. And there you go. Your wallet is clean from all those pesky scammers. And if there's a link on an NFT, it's probably a scam. So moving on to the fun side of SWE, um, let's talk about a fun website called a double up. A uh, double up is probably the most popular casino on SWE and it's super duper fun. They have a lot of fun games. So if you look down the list, they have live games now. So you're actually able to play with a live dealer. Kind of cool. They have Plinko, Roulette, Limbo, blackjack coin flip and slots now they're really upgrading the platform and there's so much to do they're also doing rewards um, a lot of fun rewards basically by just using the platform you can get rewarded weekly um, i did also do a full in-depth tutorial on double up before they actually added some of these features but definitely check that video out if you haven't and they also have something called pump up which basically these are all the meme coins on sui that people just can create on their own and see where it goes i think this is a great way to support the community and just have fun with some meme coins and last but not least on double up they actually have sui lotto we're actually able to enter into kind of a lottery style but on sui i think that it's really cool and double up's doing a lot of amazing things and i highly recommend checking them out if you haven't so go to doubleup.fun and have fun and another site you can use to look to have some fun is winx so if you go to winx.io they kind of have the same games but a little bit different ui so honestly play and choose to see which ones you like but they're both amazing platforms and they're also doing some fun like giveaways oh my gosh there's like this this that i can't find i don't know where he is oh okay they also have telegram and then doing some uh fun points they're also the creators of dsui labs 
an NFT project that was actually the first one to do a coin flip. So check them out if you haven't. And not to chew my own horn again, but uh, we also have our own game called uh, Saloon Showdown. It is a rock, paper, scissors game from Unchained NFT collection. Uh, basically, we're able to do rock, paper, scissors. We're also going through a UI change to make everything a lot more simple. It's not the cleanest UI right now. We're trying to improve the UI to make it better. But if you're looking to play rock, paper, scissors, you can go to unchainedgames.io and have some fun. You're able to play with FUD and also SWE. Okay, we are almost done, folks. I appreciate every single one of you for still tuning in. Now let's talk about where to swap and how easy it is. So I highly suggest Hop as an aggregator. It's super quick. And with the whole update to Mr. Seti, Holy schmuckets, I can usually swap in about one second, which is kind of crazy. I've actually seen 0.55, which I still can't get over. So you're able to choose whatever you want, SWE into whatever coin you'd like. And mostly everything is verified. And a really cool feature they have actually is you're able to go around and just like see what there is. So there's coins, <laughs> there's USDT, SWE, uh, Koto, I don't know what that, I think that's like Husky or something. I'm, I'm actually not sure mine. There's just a bunch of different ones. Um, so this is probably my favorite aggregator for swapping. There's also one more. So that one's actually going to be Aftermath. I think they're a fantastic swapping site too. I won't go really too much into it. You really just log in in the right hand side, just like hop and you can swap your heart away. Swapping on SWE is super fast and both of these aggregators are fantastic. They find you almost the best deals and the quickest time. So let's get into DeFi because DeFi is always a fun subject for everybody. I'll be talking about three platforms very, very quickly. It's pretty self-explanatory because DeFi on SWE is super easy. So first one is Scallop, uh, basically a DeFi platform where you're able to borrow and lend your SWE. USDC, liquid stake SUI, and more. So if you just scroll down, you're actually able to see what you're able to get as supply SUI or whatever token you like to the platform itself. So if I was able to supply Scallop with some SUI, they're offering 4.46%. And once I stake that, I'm able to get that and rates change every single day. So watch out for rates, but for the most part, I love DeFi because it's honestly one click and it's instantly staked and you're able to see that on SWE Vision. So if you're wondering, oh, where, where the heck did my SWE go? Well, you can look at SWE Vision and it'll tell you exactly what platform your SWE is being staked. So moving on to the next one is SWE Lend another up and coming uh, lending platform that I think is fantastic. They're also dropping a collection pretty soon. So definitely check SWE Lend out. And it's just as simple too. The right hand side, you connect your wallet and I'll be showing you what they offer right now for SWE. So they're offering 4.71%. Each platform is different. So choose which one you like. Uh, personally, I like SWE Lend the most and then Scallop and then probably Navi. But honestly, they're all amazing and they're all hardworking to make your experience easy and simple. And last but not least, like I said, is Navi Protocol. We're able to do the exact same thing. And it's just as simple too. You connect in the right hand side and you're able to see what rates they're offering for you supplying your suite to them. So it looks like for them, they're actually offering 8.44%. So that is almost double the amount of what Sweet Lend and Scallop is offering. But just like I said before, it's all depending on what you enjoy. Well, that does it for the whole video. I appreciate every single one of you for watching the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it, learned some amazing stuff and where to have fun on Sui and where to get started. My name is Trevin or Trevin versus NFT. And don't worry, because I will see you in Web3. We did it. Oh, yeah. A whole tutorial. It's kind of long, but I hope you enjoy.